Hello and welcome everyone. Today is Tuesday, April 21st, 2020, and this is floor system test number 52. For today's demonstration, like test 50, I have another simulation system set up. Unlike test 50, however, this simulation will be based off of a system I have not actually seen in real life, but only on a YouTube video. Let me start off with a little background. Many years ago, there was this one YouTube video that was always in my recommendations. It is called Fire Drill Boris and Holly. I ignored the recommendation for a long time until one day when I finally decided to check it out, and I discovered that the video shows a somewhat unique fire alarm setup. The video was uploaded on May 28, 2008, making it 12 years old in just about a month by user Carlos Faham. I assume that's how you say it. As of today, the video has reached almost 285,000 views, which isn't bad, and the video has already been viewed by and commented on by many of us fire alarm enthusiasts. The video is very short, just over a minute long, and shows three students, I assume, exiting a building due to the fire alarms going off. The building, as the video title shows, is the Boris and Holly building, I assume that's how you say it, which is part of Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island. The building was built in 1965 and houses the physics department and the School of Engineering. There is also an add-on to the building which looks to be from the early to mid-2000s. What we're really interested in, however, are the fire alarms, of course. As the students exit the building in the video, we see a three-part system, or actually systems. The alarm we see in the laboratory or classroom where the video starts is a Wheelock AS horn strobe doing code 3. As the students walk down the hallway, loud electromechanical horns are sounding on continuous. These are either Simplex 2901986s or Federal Signal 450D vibratones, supposedly on Space Age Electronics light plates, which cannot be seen clearly in the video and are probably the original fire alarm devices. After the students enter the newer part of the building and approach the exit, a voice evacuation system is heard which I assume to be a Firelight ACC2550 with Wheelock E70 speaker strobes. The system plays a Code 3 tone and the old standard Firelight message. Some extra information about the system was given down in the comment section of the video by a user named Eric Ferrara, who supposedly works at the university. He said the original devices in the video are Space Age Electronics light plates with 9806 horns, he said the Wheelock AS horn strobes were added on, probably for better coverage, and the voice evacuation system in the newer part of the building was installed because of the lecture halls. He also said that since the video, the systems were completely replaced, and the entire building is now covered by system sensor Spectre Alert Advanced horn strobes. I was able to verify that by looking at pictures of the building online. Very disappointing. Although this was a pretty interesting mixed system, what I found most interesting is the way the voice evac system was programmed. In between every Code 3 cycle is about 10 seconds of silence, which is not typical. So, I decided to set up a replica system. It's not exact to what is shown in the video or what the system actually was, but it is very close and will sound nearly identical. That was a script I uh, spent all morning typing on the iPad. <laughs> so, on to the actual setup and test. What I have, actually, I'll, I'll start over here at the pull stations. I have the uh, 4010 and the 4005 powered up on the 4010. For the very first time, I have a conventional pull station on it. This is my Notifier NBG12LO um, pull station. I assume the pull stations on the newer part of the system were BG12s of some kind, and uh, that's why I'm using it. I'm able to use this pull station on the 4010 thanks to my new 4090-9001 IAM, which has an ID net input, and then you can just plug anything in to monitor, which is pretty darn cool. I don't have to use the 4099-9003 all the time anymore. And the other pole station I have, I still have the 4250-120 on the 4005. We don't know what the original system in the uh, building was. It could have been a simplex system, so there's a possibility that these pole stations 
were uh, that they actually had 4251-20s, but I don't know that for sure. But it's from around the same time era, so it works. Let's start all the way over here to the left. To simulate the laboratory, I have my new uh, Wheelock AS-24 MCW, which will be doing code 3. On the 4005, I have my new Federal Signal 450D Vibratone Horn with the VALS strobe on it. I just picked this guy up off of eBay, and uh, I have this guy, and then over here I have a device I already had, which is the Simplex 29019806 Horn and the 2903-9001 light plates. Now, I said that these were probably Space Age electronics light plates. I don't have anything Space Age, but the horns are the exact same. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Federal Signal 450D is the exact same thing as the 9806, assuming the series numbers are the same. So Simplex, I believe, used the series B2 and B4 horns for the uh, 9806s. Yeah, whereas Federal Signal, they had a whole bunch of different series of these devices. But this is a B4, and this is a that one is a B4 as well, so they're both the exact same. So the AS I have on the 4010, and the older horns I have on the 4005. Furthermore, up here, we have my new Wheelock E70-2475. Uh, 75 Candela speaker strobe, which will be playing um, an actual simulation of the uh, voice evacuation message heard in the Boris and Holly video. So, of course, as I showed you guys in the last setup, that is running off of my Optimus MPA40 PA amplifier controlled by my laptop will boot up in a second. So, hold on just a second. Let me get everything situated here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull both systems. Actually, let me uh, set the camera down for one second and put some hearing protection on. This is going to be loud. Also, I should note that uh, I adjusted the pitch on these two horns to resemble the actual horns heard in the video. So hopefully uh, it should sound pretty close. So I'm going to pull both systems, turn on the voice message, and uh, let it run for long enough for you guys to get the picture. So here we go. Three. Two, one. Voice evac run a little longer. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you have just heard indicates a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building unless directed to do so by the proper authorities. All right, I'm going to shut that up. All right. That was flipping loud. That was uh, the Boris and Holly simulation. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down. 
reset the pull stations. Watch how hard this one is to reset. It's a flipping pain. When it's on the floor, that is. Key lock's giving me trouble too. Okay, reset the 4250-120. Different key. Put a reset in both of the systems. That I have on NAC2, so it's still uh, still running. All right, there's that. Forty tens reset. Mm, Four thousand five. Looks like it might be giving me. No, there it goes. Okay. All right. So there you guys go. That was a uh, floor system test number 52. Quite a crazy one, but I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and that'll be it.